Gomez de Lowe. Thank you so much for hosting us here today in uh, Mexico City. It's just great to be back uh, with all of you. Uh, last year, our two presidents agreed to relaunch the high-level uh, economic dialogue. They recognized together that a strong Mexico-U.S. relationship was vital for ensuring that our countries could actually take advantage uh, of the opportunities of this century for our people. Um, and since then, we've been working together on an incredibly wide range uh, of issues, new areas, and uh, deepened our cooperation in places where we had already been working together. To name just a few very quickly, uh, Mexico uh, and the United States are auto industry leaders, are sharing information and best practices to speed up the transition to electric vehicles, which, along with other clean energy technologies, are critical to creating new jobs and addressing the global climate crisis. Um, our development agencies, uh, Amex Seed and USAID, uh, are working together to provide skills and training to young people in Central America so that they can find more opportunity at home uh, and uh, not feel compelled to leave their countries. Our governments are finding new ways to strengthen cybersecurity, which is increasingly central to the lives and livelihoods of our citizens, from resilience of our supply chains uh, to the success of small and medium uh, enterprises increasingly reliant on a digital economy. And I think we're seeing results. Uh, total trade between our countries recently surpassed even pre-pandemic levels. Um, Mexico is our second largest trading partner with trade between our countries exceeding $7 billion, supporting over a million jobs. Um, and all of this is not just about abstract numbers. Uh, good paying jobs, quality benefits, better schools, stronger small businesses, brighter futures for our people when we do it right. Um, we have our, our differences as any countries with relationships as deep uh, and wide as ours are, but we work through them uh, in a pragmatic way. Uh, and I'm pleased about that as well, based on mutual respect. Um, I will uh, let Secretary Raimondo address this, but as we've discussed today, we have some remarkable new opportunities before us, in part because of some progress we've been able to make in the United States uh, with the CHIPS Act uh, and then with the uh, IRA, the uh, Inflation Reduction Act. Uh, these create, I think, new perspectives to uh, go even further in some of the work that we've already started to do, but I'll leave it to Secretary Mondo to discuss that. But the issues that we'll talk about today, um, expanding inclusive opportunities and jobs in North America, accelerating North America's clean energy transition, modernizing our border infrastructure, promoting an open and secure internet, among others, aren't simply issues that matter to our governments. Profoundly, they matter to our people. Together, we can make North America the most competitive, dynamic region in the world. Both of our presidents share that vision, and it's our responsibility to actually try and make good on it. Delighted to be here and working with all of our colleagues. Thank you.